You know our next guest. From two Fridays, two hangovers, and one girl's trip, new episodes of his popular show, The Upshaws, premieres April 18th on Netflix. Please welcome Mike Epps. <laughs> Good to see it. Same Remember, please, this is a very dad on vacation kind of look, I think, for you. And I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> you think so? Like, yeah, like in the 60s, you uh, know? Hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. These are like Easter pants, man. I, <laughs> I had these on since Easter, so. <laughs> <laughs> Easter wasn't that long ago. That's OK. How you doing? Everything good? Man, you know, man, I'm hanging like snot, man. I ain't doing that, man. You know what I mean? A couple of questions I have for you. Uh, what is Mike Epps's ideal hot tub temperature? What's our ideal hot tub temperature? Yeah, yeah. Probably about uh, 120. Oh! <laughs> I think that's a lobster's is that too hot, hot tub temperature. <laughs> yeah. A lobster. Has Mike Epps ever shoplifted? And if so, what did he get? Uh, I have shoplifted. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> I think good? I stole a pair of drawers before. A pair of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I needed some underwear, man. I, I, but I stole them out of a liquor store, so it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> liquor store underwear don't count as a theft. <laughs> yeah, it's like they, they probably weren't even for sale. <laughs> <laughs> you said, and I could correct me if I have this wrong. You said you have a, you were not a good criminal. What does I, that mean exactly? It's when you go to jail. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> in your youth, when you were up to no good, you yes, would, uh, man, yeah. you know, because I mean, you know, the thing about, and I try to tell kids all the time. I say, you know, um, crime don't pay unless it's paying you. Is that a positive message, or is that a like... <laughs> pretty much? You know, yeah, what yeah. I mean? like you, gotta, you ain't gonna get paid, really. If you you're know? gonna do it, do it right. You gotta do it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta give all the money to restitution. Oh, do you? Yeah. Because guys go to prison and they 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 sell all the stuff that they have outside. They like tell their wife, "I'll sell them cars, get rid of everything, and uh, take the money to the lawyer." So I'm like, man, why? Uh, go to jail and spend all this money to get out when you can just spend all the money to stay out. That's a very, very good way of looking at it, I think. But you don't make no money, so you can't stay out. <laughs> <laughs> Being funny helps you get out of trouble, I would assume, or in it? Not with my wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> she does not care for jokes when things I are I am serious. not funny. Mm -hmm. It'll hurt to her when things get serious. Uh huh. That's yeah. the only person I can't make laugh when you know. Do you feel with like the police? You try to de. <laughs> you. Do you feel like you try to derail a serious conversation with your wife by making jokes? I do sometimes. You do, and she does not like that. And she, and her favorite word is, "This ain't the time." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get that, too, yeah. Wait till you go do your show and do that. But right now, it ain't nothing funny. <laughs> but, the, but the police appreciate a little bit of levity every once in a while in their they jobs. Do. Yeah. Because I remember back in the day, I, this is how I knew I was funny. The police pulled me over one time and said, why was you going so fast? And I was so scared, I said, because I didn't see you. And he got... <laughs> he, and he started laughing. I was like, oh, Lord. I, I might get out of this ticket tonight, man. <laughs> it worked. And now you're beloved in your hometown, right? I mean, yeah. he, there's a Mike Epps Day and everything in, in November, right? Yeah, I got yeah. a Mike Epps Day in yeah. Yeah. Do you go back every year for Mike Epps Day? Do they have a thing every year? Because a lot of times they'll say, oh, this is, yeah. you know, Mike Epps Day, and then, that, and then you never hear about it again. I don't know exactly what day it is myself. <laughs> it's November 20th. It is. It's yeah. November 20th. But yeah. yeah, I haven't, I don't go back there on the, I, when I, you know, when I go back to Indianapolis, I gotta, I gotta do like this now. Why? Because people walk up to me and say, man, Mike, you're doing real good, man. Look out for me, baby. And that means and that, what? Like, yeah, I go in my pocket, A little man. something. Yeah, as soon as I get off the plane, I got to at least have about $5,000 in my pocket <laughs> riding around Indianapolis. 
and, and they, the people in the city, they connected to the airport people. Oh, interesting. So the airport people was like, he just got off the plane just now. <laughs> they got their own TMZ out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> and do you give it willingly? You, I do. I, give, I, do. I, I, I love giving. I love giving. How do you decide how much to give to somebody? Um, depending on the story. Uh-huh. Okay. Some people's story don't require a lot of money. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know what I mean? What's the most you ever handed to a stranger on the street? $500. $500 is yeah. a lot of money to give a stranger on the street. Your pals with Shaq, right? I'm friends with Shaq. Have, That's my man, Shaq Diesel. Have you ever, ever seen him? Because uh, he'll give, you know, he'll give somebody like oh, a... Oh, yeah, Shaq is a gift. A Lamborghini or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, see, I ain't giving up that. No, I, yeah. I, keep, <laughs> I keep that for myself right there. But Shaq is a real... Shaq is a generous dude, and... Shaq is, Shaq is one of them guys, you could talk about him, because most uh, NBA players, athletes, they don't like you talking about them. I've noticed that myself, too. Cause I have like, a theory as to why. Why do you think it is? I don't know. I guess, I guess they're like, you know, I'm who I am. You ain't supposed to talk about me. I but, think it's more like they, they were so big and strong, nobody messed with them growing up, and they don't know yes. how to react to it. They're to like... What? I should crush you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, and then it's like, oh yeah, I can't crush you. It's illegal. It's like, yeah, <laughs> and they yeah. don't know where to go from right, there. Right, right. Yeah. Because it's, it's yeah, it's really weird for him. But Shaq is. You can talk about him. Yeah, yeah. Shaq, you can say anything to him. Oh, say that again. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> go talk about me again. Go ahead and talk about me again. Hey man, what'd you say about me that night, man? <laughs> He wants to hear it over again. Yeah, he wants to hear it over again. What about this guy? This is, I mean, oh, this is some man. Indiana That's... royalty right here, huh? This is yeah. him. You and Larry Bird. Where did this happen? They, that was at the All-Star. They had the All-Star in Indianapolis this year. NBA All-Star was in my hometown, yeah. man. I hooked up with the Pacers, and, man, all the athletes was there, and we were about to go on stage. Me and Larry Bird was back there kicking it. And Larry is actually... A, a white guy that will punch you in the eye. You know what? Most, most white people are like, hey, I'm gonna give you a chance to leave me alone. <laughs> Larry Bird's like, what? <laughs> <Pow!"> <laughs> That's and he's from Indiana. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, most white guys, you can, you know, you know what I mean? You can, ah, yeah, hey, man! Don't get the cops over here! But Larry Bird, you might get your nose busted messing with him. Oh, well, it's nice. It's a nice quality. <laughs> you, uh, you got a new season of The Upshaws. This is a part five, right? Yeah, it's part five. Thanks to the people. Thanks to y'all. That's I mean, People made that happen. Is the Up Shows like the most successful streaming sitcom now? I mean, of it, all? Of it is. It is on net on Netflix. Yeah, which is the biggest one, right? It's, the, it's, it's definitely the biggest uh, black show. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Well, but it is a great show, man, and it's universal. Like we got we got some of the greatest people on the show. Like I got the great Wanda Sykes on the show with me. And she is great. Uh, one of the funniest people there is. Don't get no better than that. Nope. We got, Kim Fields, a veteran. She was here athlete. last week. And we got, I mean, the kids are incredible, man, and, and the writers are incredible, man. So, you know, we got lightning in the bottle with this, man. This was a blessing, man, because, you know, my child support, I had to, it went up a little bit. Uh -huh. I to, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you got the child support. And every time I had a couple he... student loans and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, are you uh, having still paying off your student loans? I didn't go to college. <laughs> I didn't go to college. <laughs> I don't want to sit here and lie to you like that, Jimmy. <laughs> I went to Lincoln Tech, man. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. The Upshaws <laughs> Part 5 premieres April 18th <laughs> on Netflix. Mike Epps, everybody. We'll be back. <laughs>